What's up Precision Junkies? Kellen back here with Inside Out Precision. And today I'm gonna to do a video on aftermarket strings. So I get a lot of questions on what my favorite strings are. Um, lots of guys don't like running stock strings. You know, they're usually decent, but not great. Um, so, you know, here at the shop we get probably 15 or 20 different manufacturers a year that send us strings wanting us to carry their product. So they send us a couple of demos and we have uh, a bunch of demo bows here for people to shoot and they get shot hundreds of times a week. So we'll, for our test, we basically put them on the demo bows and see how they perform. And there's really three things in my mind that make up a really good string. Uh, is there any serving separation? Cause you don't want any serving separation. Um, the movement after you know the first couple hundred shots, generally most strings will have a little break-in period. So you know you set the timing on the cams, you shoot a little bit, you check it, and usually one cam will be open a little bit, um, which causes you know your bow to go out of tune. And then the third thing is peep rotation. So some strings, you know, even when the peep's not tied in, you just put the peep in the string, put on the draw board, draw it back. Some strings have a ton of rotation or that, that peep will turn, you know, 90 degrees on you. And that can be really, really frustrating. So uh, after lots of different strings um, that we've tried here at the shop, we've really narrowed it down to two brands that we really, really like. And those are first string and then uh, gas strings as well. So gas, um, starting with gas, they're Eric Griggs owned the company. Um, he's been a long time pro shooter. He actually worked for Winner's Choice Strings for a really long time. And then when the Total Outdoor Group, or not the Total Outdoor Group, just the Outdoor Group bought up Winner's Choice, they pretty much got rid of everybody. And he said, well, screw it. I can make strings on my own. So that's exactly what he did. Um, their standard, they've got the gas standard set, the high octane, which is a little bit different blend. So it's like a 452X or BCY material. Um, and then they came out with this brand new one called the Ghost XV. And these strings are the most impressive strings that I have yet to see. Uh, Wayne, the owner here, and one of the other guys, Chris, who works here, have both put sets on their bows. They both shot a ton of arrows through them and they have not moved. Um, Every string company always says, you know, zero stretch, zero break in. It's usually not true. Almost every other string I've put on, and that's not to say there aren't a bunch of other good strings out there, but almost every other set of strings is going to have some break in period, including the, you know, the gas standard set. You know, usually after the first couple hundred arrows, you gotta re reset the timing. Your peep might rotate a little bit as those microfibers settle in. These strings truly do not move. Now, the only catch with these is that they're only available in one color. So the main string on these is just, it's kind of like an off white. Now you can ask for different serving colors. So Chris has like silver, silver uh, cable servings here and just a black center serving um, and, and then silver end servings here. The reason that they only offer it in the one color like that is because the dye in strings is actually, it, it weakens the fibers a little bit. And then depending on the color, they will actually expand the fibers differently. So if you have a twisted string, let's say where one is, you know, bright blue, half of it's bright blue and half of it is yellow, those fibers are actually slightly different widths. So when they, you know, they make the string, they put it all together and then when you shoot it a little bit, they kind of settle in differently. They'll stretch differently and that's where you get that rotation in the string. That's where you get a little bit of stretch. So these strings were actually developed for crossbows originally because crossbows are pulling, you know, 100, 150 pounds. And so they're much more susceptible to stretch. These strings truly have not moved. Um, it's the only string I've ever seen that truly has not moved. The peep rotation is minimal to none if you know how to tie your peep in correctly. And they're just a really impressive set. Um, you know, it's kind of a proprietary blend of materials that he's got going on. And he's, he's really onto something here. So again, these are the Gas Ghost XVs. Um, really, really popular right now. We're getting a bunch of guys ordering these and you know, no serving separation, uh, just a very, very well-made string. So I would really highly encourage you to look at these. I know the white is a little off-putting to a lot of people. You know, after a season of hunting, it's probably gonna be more like a, a beige or a, a, a dirt brown. Um, but I'm more interested in function than looks. So check these out. Um, the second string that's really, really popular that like I mentioned is first string. Um, 
we received these a couple of years ago. Uh, started putting them on the demo bows and we're really, really impressed. Um, you know, very minimal movement, very minimal peep rotation. Um, when I say minimal, I mean after the first, you know, two weeks of people shooting the demo bows and we checked the timing, the top cam was open maybe a 16th to an eighth of an inch. I mean, just a tiny little bit. Um, and then once we reset the timing, they, they didn't move again. So once they broke in, they, they stayed there. Um, I love Hoyt, but I will say the strings that come stock on Hoyts are stretch machines. Um, you know, Wayne got his RX3 and he probably had to reset his timing four or five different times before he finally just got sick of it and threw on the ghost, ghost strings. Um, but first strings are very well made. Again, we see very little serving separation. Um, you can get these in any colors that you want. Um, they also, so these are the premium series. They also have one called the Exit Wire series and then the Magnum. Now the Magnum only comes, I think, in one color. So kind of like the Ghost. And it's kind of like a, almost like a, an off-white kind of greenish color. Um, again, that's due to, they don't want to put any dye in the strings because the dye will cause stretch and rotation in the string. Um, Trent, who works here, he has a set of the exit wires on his Hoyt and he's been really impressed with them. Um, they barely moved at all. And just a really solid string. Again, they've, they've got some different blends that they make. The most common, uh, the most common string materials are BCYX and 452X. 452 is probably more common than BCY, um, at least for, you know, in the target world and, and guys who want no stretch. Um, I don't know if these are 452, I think it's a blend, but really great strings again that's first string um, we've installed a ton of these you know again no serving separation and just a really good good string so if you're in the market for some aftermarket strings which most guys are especially you know if you get a if you get a bow that's it's kind of a mid-range price bow part of the way that they keep that price down is is the components are a little bit cheaper and the easiest thing to cheap out on is a string so you can get a lot more performance out of your bow by getting an aftermarket string. Um, you hear guys who say, you know, oh, it, it makes your bow faster. There's really nothing inherent about a string that will make your bow faster. Um, what will happen is that a lot of strings, as they stretch, you lose poundage. So you actually are losing speed as that string breaks in. A string that doesn't stretch maintains that speed and you know, you're not gonna lose any performance because of that. So I would encourage you to look at these. Again, the gas, gas strings, they have the standard, the gas high octane, which you can kind of choose which material you want. And then these are the new Ghost XVs by gas. Uh, these are the first strings. This is the premium series. They also have the exit wire and then the Magnum. Um, can't really go wrong with either, in my opinion. And again, I'm not saying these are the only good strings on the market, but I have installed a lot of different strings working here and some of them are pretty terrifying. I mean, literally to the point where that people do almost a full 180 when you draw it, and the guy you know, will, will install them, and the guy will come back five or six times, and every time this top cam is open a quarter of an inch. So when you do the math, that string is stretching like an inch and a half. So that can be really frustrating. You know, you're shooting well and all of a sudden you start hitting low or your arrows start kicking, you can't figure out what's going on. It's usually because you got a, some stretch, whether it's in the yokes or the mainstring or the cable. So uh, anyway, hope that answers some questions that you guys had. Um, I, I did a little thing on Instagram. So hop on over to Instagram at inside underscore out underscore precision. Uh, it's actually one of the shooting videos I did. I just mentioned uh, the strings on my bow. Um, their first string. Um, I think I'm gonna get some Ghost XVs, but anyway, um, hop on over there if you haven't already. There's a lot of cool content there. As usual, feel free to comment below. Love hearing what you guys have to say. Feel free to reach out with any questions. Um, until next time, keep it in the middle, and remember precision is a decision.